I developed over the course of the last 10 years a uh, kind of a movement therapy uh, approach that I call Creatively Able, which is dance for kids on the autism spectrum. I'm Andrew Palermo. I'm an assistant professor of drama at UCI. I teach dance primarily within the musical theater concentration for the undergrads and grad population at UCI and drama. There's a lot of programs out there for children to be involved in. Our children are, are different, and when they don't keep up with programs, they kind of get pushed aside. Well, hello, I'm Jerry Thierry. I'm a board member here at United Cerebral Palsy of Life with Life Without Limits, uh, and also a parent uh, of a child that receives treatment here. So this project was um, developed through the Pediatric Exercise and Genomics Research Center in the School of Medicine at UCI. And we've been working with Andrew Palermo and with Jillian Hayes for a while and with, with the idea for having this dance program for kids with autism. I'm Kate Ringland, I work with Jillian Hayes, and today I have the, have the dance cross. So the system uses um, Connect and a PC. Hey guys, welcome to Dance Craft. Are and you it ready had to the dance today? Dance lessons We're gonna take on some it. big breaths. With they got dance up. lesson at the center, and then they took this home and got three more dance lessons at home. So I actually started this as a project for the Autism App Jam, and I actually went to Andrew and kind of had heard about his dance classes, and so I wanted to use. I'd used the Connect in other projects, and so I wanted to use it for dance and to see what that would look like. And so I kind of collaborated with him to kind of design the system, and then a team of undergrads and I built it. All my research kind of centered around different kinds of assistive tech for kids with autism. So that was kind of my goal was to develop something that was fairly affordable and that they could take home and use in their home to kind of augment the therapy they were getting other places. The reason I call it Creatively Able is that it's using their own intricacies and specialties in the way that they behave and think and act and interact or don't and trying to use them as a as a tool rather than uh, something to eradicate. So at PERC we're really interested in how um, physical activity and exercise intervention programs can help kids and especially kids with special needs um, like autism. We're really interested in how this can help them with their physical fitness and physical health but also their cognitive health, their executive functions, attention, and even behavior regulation. Um, we're really excited to be working with United Cerebral Palsy on the project. Um, they've been a great community partner and we're looking forward to working with them in the long term to better develop um, activity programs for kids with special needs. We've had great results. I, I know we couldn't have done this without everyone, with the staff here at UCP. Um, they're, they're like family to us now, so I can't, can't say enough about everything. And, Everyone here.